Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein. Welcome, lady and gentlemen. Uh, I hope you're all uh, doing well today and having a wonderful weekend. Um, so today we're going to be in the Provisional Government Outskirts as we just finished up the uh, memories and uh, yesterday. And so today we're going to be facing the Queen's Knight Reborn as we face the Queen's Knight. And we used a pipe and uh, we used our crush values on him. However, uh, the Queen's Knight Reborn has a different weakness set, and so, uh, but for, we'll get to that later, but for going through the memories here, or for, not through the memories, we just did the memories, um, going through the outskirts, um, this is a lot of fun to play the Prometheus Stunner and uh, completely kind of roll over each of these folks through here. Now we're paired up with Mia here to give us a double gift extension uh, to make sure that our gifts last nice and long as they have uh, exceptional cooldowns on them. Uh, so we will go ahead and just get some of these gifts going here at the beginning. Okay. Oh, we got a backstab. I did not realize that we got a backstab. That's okay. There we go. And uh, the whole point of this is to get uh, lots of damage out on the enemies while at the same time um, getting them stunned every now and then. Okay. That guy's gonna do that. We'll go for a backstab here while Mia uh, uh, makes that guy upset. Okay, very good. And now we have this uh, big lady up here, so we'll go for the stun and the damage on her. Okay. Good. There we go. Oops, we are out of uh, stamina there. Uh, I did not realize we were gonna run out of stamina before we killed her. But that's okay. Uh, we got through it uh, just easily enough. Now up here, this is going to be uh, a bit of a problem, as we don't have uh, any real good way to go about uh, going after these folks. Oops! And as you see there, uh, we are shot from all sides and all angles, as Mia uh, points her gun up in the air. There we go. Now we can uh, go for a couple of these things here. There we go. Oh, we're dead. Thanks, Mia. There we go. Okay, and we got one more over here. So let's go for a launch, and that'll take care of that. Okay, let's go ahead and heal up. Now, our weapon should be uh, pretty charged uh, because of uh, the double gift extension here from uh, Blade Dance. Okay, we'll go for uh, a couple of damages here. We'll go for a backstab, and Blade Dance is over, so that's okay. We still have uh, enough to uh, put out here. Oops. And we didn't get the stun in time, but that's okay. Uh, and we are looking pretty peaked here. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, heal up all the way. Use three heals, and that should get us to top. Bingo. And now we got more dogs. So always, always kill dogs as fast as you can. Very good. There we go. And now we got a third dog. Uh, come on, doggo. There we go. Okay. There they come. Good. And uh, let's go for all the stun. Okay. There we go. Since she can stun over and over, uh, we will go ahead and take full advantage of our uh, stun cartridge there. Okay, and this lady... Uh, let's go for more stun and more damage. Okay. There we go. And you can see there that it uh, does very well to uh, stun and kill all at the same time. As you get uh, two stuns, or two hits and you stun, um, it makes a, a really great combination there. And uh, this fella, where is he? There we go. We'll go for a backstab first so we can get uh, our second uh, gift extension going here. Good, he's dead. Get the tungsten and we'll move on uh, into the dogs that uh, show up around the corner here. Here they come. I don't know what Mia's shooting, shooting at, so she always does that. So that first strike uh, aggressive move there, uh, you can apply on the dogs uh, by uh, getting um, a quicker execution of your, uh, of your gift, or of your uh, sword slash there. But that uh, running attack is very, very good to uh, kind of 
put the uh, damage out on the enemy before they can do anything. Oops. There we go. Half my health is gone. That's so nice. I always love it when uh, half my health goes away in one shot. That's, uh, that's, that's impressive. Alright, and we'll go for ice. I don't know where Mia's going, but uh, we don't have to go for this lady, but I like going for her. And you can see that the stun cartridge uh, definitely makes a difference, as well as uh, our stun uh, gift. Um, it truly makes uh, a huge difference um, in, in how fast uh, an enemy can get stunned or not. Okay, so as we uh, get on into the big area here, we will have to uh, get our gifts going while at the same time uh, kind of pay attention to uh, these ladies so we get the so we get the uh, the ladder down here first okay good and she's gonna come over here we'll run past her and go for these guys because uh, if they get uh, any kind of chance to shoot us in the back they will absolutely take it there we go and we'll go for the damage and we'll go for a stun cartridge on her And we'll see how far we get. Okay, good. Uh, I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to get her down to a kill there or not. But uh, we we did. And it's most excellent because as we come around the corner here, who do we have but my favorite friends. Yeah, monkeys. More monkeys. So definitely go for a stun cartridge here on her. There we go. And uh, that is a fantastic... Uh, method to uh, go ahead and eliminate these folks uh, very very quickly um, not too terribly easily but definitely uh, takes a lot of the sting out of it so definitely go for a gift extension as that is uh, the majority of where uh, all the damage and stuff is going to come from and here as we get into this area uh, we're gonna have to kind of be, be yeah we're gonna have to be really really careful because uh, they aggro on each other like this Okay. Okay. And that guy is not dead. Uh, over here. So we'll have to uh, go for him. Wow, that was lucky. That was extremely lucky. And another extremely lucky backstab. Okay. Wow. Uh, that was probably the luckiest way that you could go about uh, getting through there. Okay. So let's go ahead and hopefully take full advantage of it. Okay. There we go. Now hopefully the uh, other lady over there doesn't aggro us. I don't think she did, so this might be okay. Oh, never mind. Uh, they're all here. Okay. Good. Do not give that lady a chance to uh, attack you. Okay, my goodness, that went uh, way better. Way, 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 way better than I uh, anticipated it, it to go. Uh, so definitely take the pure blood and go. Uh, we don't need to stick around here uh, anymore or anything else. And we have no more stun cartridges, so that's okay. We will uh, make use with what we have. A little bit of uh, dodging here should help us out. Different? Uh, it's different dead. <laughs> and you can see there that the uh, double gift extension uh, gives us a huge amount of uh, time on um, on uh, Blade Dance there. And it gives us a, a lot of uh, chance to um, uh, put the damage out on the enemy very quickly, very easily. Now for the, um, what's his face? The, uh, um, the Queen's Knight Reborn, uh, you can simply use the same exact... Um, build that you adventured with. Uh, this doesn't usually happen. Uh, sometimes it does. Uh, this is one of them where you can absolutely do this. And uh, it's a great thing that you can uh, use uh, one build to uh, do uh, multiple things. Oh, and you can get shot in the back too. Uh, Jack is gone, so this will be a, a real problem now as he won't be there for the fight. Um, he'll be off adventuring on his own, doing his own thing. Oh, here he, he came back. Okay, 
almost there. Um, and so it's really nice that you can uh, use a build to adventure, and then you can use the same build to um, do a boss. Uh, that is a pretty rare occurrence indeed. Okay, so all these things are what we need, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get it going. Okay, and we'll go ahead and heal. Now we only have uh, 45 seconds on uh, Blade Dance, so we kind of need to keep ourselves uh, at bay here. Okay, there we go. And this, and this, and this, and this, and we'll heal one. And we'll do uh, Blade Dance, and we'll do one, and we get our stun uh, going. Uh, where's stun weapon? There we go. I know, Jack. Hang on. Uh, okay, we'll do this, and uh, let's go. There we go. And you can start attacking right away. Okay. There we go. And that's the uh, Queen's Knight Reborn. And uh, that's why I just absolutely, absolutely love this build for him, as it uh, ends him extremely fast. Um, and he doesn't even get a chance to go to phase two or do anything crazy. Uh, he almost got an attack off once, um, but uh, because of the just the overwhelming power of the stun um, and how uh, and how much damage actually goes out on him, uh, it just completely wrecks him. But it's also a very good adventuring build as well. As you saw there, we we had uh, enough backstabs. I did get lucky here and there uh, along the way considerably to to don't forget to mention that but um if you uh if you can adventure with it and boss with it all at the same time it's 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 a really really good build and especially um because of the fact that it is the weakness of everybody through here of uh slash lightning ice and uh some folks you know like the the blood knight ladies uh they are um they are uh weak to slash uh sorry crush ice but at least we got the ice portion, um, and it's not worth it to change up too much of the build in order to uh, get all the weaknesses of the area. But if you get enough of the weaknesses of the area, it just it's such a fun, fun, fun way to uh, go through an area and just completely annihilate people. Um, so if you're looking for a, a quick, fast, easy, simple way to get through the, the area here, uh, I would highly recommend uh, the Prometheus Stunner as, as this setup here is just um, a little too overwhelming um, for uh, for the uh, Queen's Knight Reborn and such. Um, so next we'll be in the Government Center and uh, we've got some different things there. So um, hopefully you all enjoyed this. It was a little bit shorter than uh, um, excuse me than yesterday's video, uh, but that's just because of the RNG and the uh, the uh, performance that was put out here. Uh, as you can see, we didn't die once. And we got through here um, fairly a-okay, okay. Um, but uh, and you can see the amount of time uh, that that changes. Uh, it's literally like a 20-minute time difference, um, just because of the fact that I didn't die, and that that is code vein in a nutshell. So, anyways, that uh, that'll be it for this one. Remember the Prometheus Stunner. Here's kind of the values we're we're looking at. Uh, let's. Uh, uh, I guess we could take a look at what that value is with Jack. Um, on. Uh, Possibly this guy over here. So we will uh, let's see let's see what our damage kind of gets up to um, as we uh, power up uh, by slashing this guy and uh, seeing what what uh, value we can get up to. Might be might be uh, beneficial to see that number as uh, it is uh, pretty high uh, just for a uh, you know a random attack value here. Okay. There we go. Oh, and I can't heal anymore uh, because of uh, Jack Jackness. So we'll use some uh, items here. There we go. And uh, uh, we don't need anything else except uh, this. Oh, I used a stun cartridge. Oh well. And we need our stun weapon. There we go. And uh, let's use our stun cartridge again. And uh, let's see what we get up to. Now this isn't uh, anything, uh, so there we go, 36, 28, so that's uh, each slash, and uh, then um, 
uh, opportunism is not uh, calculated into that, which you get another 20% uh, percent up from there, uh, every slash on your 5% that you get from uh, Blade Dance. So it uh, scales out of control uh, very, very quickly, very, very fast, and uh, especially if enemies are weak to certain things like elements, that, that is not calculated in the, in the damage that's showed on the card either. Um, so you can uh, you can get crazy amounts of damage out of this thing, um, out of this setup here, uh, versus pretty much any enemy, and uh, no one can really stand up against it. Now the only problem is is that it's based on stun. So if your enemy is uh, immune to stun, like some of the the dust bandits, um, the wolf king at the end, he's immune to stun. The virgin born, Mido. Um, let's see who are the others. There's a couple others that are oh, uh, the butterfly they're all immune to stun and uh, if you um, don't have the chance to go for stun then a, a good second would be uh, slow uh, going for binding mark and uh, getting a slow uh, executioner you can uh, use either one of these and it doesn't have the exact same effect but it has um, it has a pretty similar effect so you could you could do that and still run the entire thing so um, but uh, the Wolf King and the Virgin Born are the only ones in the game that are completely invincible to uh, all status effects. Um, and so they, they can't uh, take much use of this, but you can still use the build. It's just you have to deal with uh, fully fully motion active enemies. So anyways, that's, uh, that's enough for me for now. And uh, enough of my rambling here about Code Vein. And I'm sure you guys have better things to do. Um, so anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. And thank you all for sticking around and uh, watching the Prometheus Stunner. So I'll see you in the next one.